What's up guys, Justin Cap from Pro here. It is Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm gonna hook you up with a sweet tech tip answering a question that I get all the time. How to do a live stream from a Zoom video conference call to say YouTube or to Facebook or to multiple platforms at the same time. This is a very simple tip, a very easy one, something that can be done by anybody that has a Zoom account. So I'm gonna hook you guys up with this to show you how to do it singularly to an individual network. And then I'm also gonna show you a sweet tip on how you can leverage another technology that actually take a Zoom call and broadcast it to multiple platforms at the same time. That's all in today's video. This is gonna be quick, let's dive right in. All right, guys, Justin Cap'n Pro is my name. JustinCap'nPro.com is my website. I'm a startup business mentor and a branding strategist that specializes in helping startup entrepreneurs just like you turn your passion, your gifting, your idea into a profitable and scalable brand, leveraging the power of social media marketing. If you are new to the channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. I put up four new uploads every single week from Tuesday through Friday, covering everything that you need to know to grow your brand and expand your influence online in the social media marketplace. I'd love to have you follow along. Today is Tuesday and every single Tuesday I do tech tips. I'm glad to have you here. I'm answering this question today because I get this one all the time. Justin, how do I do a live stream from a Zoom video conference out to Facebook or out to YouTube or how the heck do I do it to multiple platforms at the same time? Let me show you how to get this done. Anybody can do this. All you have to do is have a Zoom account. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let me share my screen. Let's show you how to get this done. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to zoom.us to go to your Zoom account. You have to activate live streaming before you'll actually be able to do the live stream itself, all right? So you're gonna click on my account in the top right-hand corner. Once you get to this area, you're gonna click on settings. And once you get into settings, you're gonna have to scroll down for a little bit. It's a little bit towards the bottom. And you're gonna see a spot that says allow live streamings. You're gonna to wanna to click that on. And then once you do that, you're also gonna to wanna to click on custom live streaming service. Do that and click save. Now you've got that updated. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna open up a new Zoom meeting. So I'm inside Zoom right now. This is what it looks like when you get inside Zoom. And you'll notice if you've ever done a Zoom video conference bar, you got all these tools at the bottom. Once you turn on live streaming, you're gonna see this little more segment right here. And if you click on that, that's where you're gonna see go live. Now I can go live on Facebook, I can go live on YouTube, or I can go live to a live custom streaming service. So if I go live on Facebook, it's gonna open up this pop-up box. I'm gonna decide where I want it to do, whether I want it to go to my personal feed, whether I want to go to a group or to a page that I manage. So let's say I want to go to a group. I'll type in my group name and I'll put in my inner circle and go next. And now it's just like going to a regular live video on Facebook. I put in my title. I'm going to get all my things set up. And once I'm ready to go, I'm going to hit go live and it's going to automatically broadcast my Zoom conference to that private Facebook group. All right. Now, same goes for places like YouTube. If I click on live on YouTube, it's going to take me through the same process. Now the YouTube version is a little bit simpler than what you'll see on Facebook. You, once you connect it to your YouTube account, you're just gonna come in here and that's where you're gonna type in whatever your title is. So this would be my awesome Zoom meeting that you definitely want to join. And I can set it to public, unlisted. If I wanna go unlisted just to, for a private group of people to a private group, I could do that. Or if I want it to be public, I can maybe make it public. And then I'm simply go live and it's gonna put publish me live on YouTube. So again, very, very easy process. Now, when I go back in here and I've got these options down here and I've got live custom streaming service, that's where if I wanna enter a streaming URL and a stream key to a very specific network. So if you don't wanna click the go live on Facebook or go live on on YouTube, those guys that know how to use streaming URLs and stream keys, you could you could open up a regular Facebook broadcast and plug in that stream key and URL and it'll take you live in exactly the same way. Uh, but then the other thing that you can do is you can use the live custom streaming service to go live to multiple networks using Restream. So if you're not familiar with Restream, Restream is a technology in which you can take their technology and allow your broadcast to be published to multiple networks. So what happens is when you use a live custom streaming key and URL, you essentially take your Zoom call and you send it to Restream and then Restream, once it's connected to whatever accounts you wanna to go to, Restream will take your singular Zoom stream and it'll publish on whatever networks you tell them to do it to. So let me show you what that looked like real quick. So if I go to Restream.io, that's the website. And if you've never created an account before, you'll have to sign up for an account. There is a free version of this as well as a paid version of this. If you simply wanna to go to like a Facebook personal page, 
Periscope, Twitter, I, I'll click on add channel. Basically all of these channels that are up here, you can stream to for free. Yes, I did say free. You can go to Periscope for free, Facebook Live for free, Twitch, you name it, all of those, LinkedIn, those can all be done for free. The only time you have to actually upgrade and pay is if you want to go to a Facebook group or a business page. So if you're gonna go to a Facebook group or a business page, you will have to upgrade to the paid account, which is $19 a month. Or if you wanna do any of these other options, you will have to upgrade to use these at the bottom. But if you're only using these ones at the top, you can do this for free, all right? So basically you just choose your channel. Once you choose your channel, it'll automatically log you in so you get your channels added. And then if you have this toggle switch on or off, if it's off, that means that when you stream to restream, it will not send the stream to that particular channel, but whatever channels you do have on, it'll send your stream to that channel very, very easily. So all you're gonna do in here is you're gonna come into the streaming software segment and you're gonna click on RTMP settings and that's gonna give you your link and your stream key and that's what we're gonna have to plug in to Zoom. So if we take that link and copy that and if I go back to then Zoom and I go down here to live on custom live streaming service and I'm going to paste my streaming URL right there. Then if I go back to uh, my dashboard of Restream and I copy that stream key and I paste that streaming key right there, that'll be done. And then I don't have to do anything with this URL page. And then if I click go live, that'll automatically send me to a link to stream me live to Restream. Now, one thing that you will wanna make sure that you do before you go live, because literally if I, if I plug in that stream key and that URL right there and hit go live, my Zoom will automatically get sent to Restream and Restream will automatically start streaming whatever is happening on screen. So one thing that you wanna do is make sure that you get a title inputted. So when it does go to those platforms that it is gonna see a title that you wanna see. So to do that on Restream, before you plug in those settings and hit go live, you wanna come over here to update titles, okay? And on the update titles piece, it's gonna give you an option to type in here, my super awesome zoom conference conference call like that and then if you hit update all that'll automatically update that title on whatever channels you have added to your platform all right so once you get that done you're back here you've got your titles all set you've got your settings set in now you're ready to hit go live and as soon as you hit go live it will automatically start taking your zoom conference and whatever's happening on screen will go live to whatever platforms you have connected to restream super easy and that all can be done for free again the only time you have to pay an upgrade to restream is is if you're actually going to use Restream to go to a business page or to a Facebook group. If you're not doing a business page and you're not doing a Facebook group, you can literally use Restream for free. Pretty awesome technology. Hopefully that one's helpful for you. So pretty simple, right? Not too complicated. I think anybody can do that. So again, don't forget to go into your settings on Zoom and make sure you turn on live streaming once you have that option. And as soon as you go into your Zoom video conference call, you'll be able to click on those more options and choose whatever platform you wanna go live to. And you can start taking those awesome Zoom calls that you're producing and publishing those live on what Whatever network you need to get those out to all right hopefully that was good for you today guys if you enjoyed that one or if you appreciate it i would love for you to smash that like button i'll certainly subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed guys i also appreciate your comments down below if you have any questions for me uh, drop those questions down below i love answering your questions and i love being a resource for you in any way that i can all right guys be blessed have a beautiful day be intentional with your time today be intentional with that talent that you have get after your goals and i will see you all around the web all right take care god bless and i'll see you guys later